something you need to file with the court as well. I'm going to move on to Keysight. Uh, again, something Emily talked about before, and I'm just going to show you some of the features of it uh, for it. Keysight is the comparable software to shepherdizing. Um, that's what West is calling their, <coughs> their um, shepherds. Uh, shepherds is licensed, and so when you're using Westline Next, you'll see reference <coughs> to Keysight. You can use uh, Keysight on West Linux in a number of ways. You can search to, um, directly from the home page using <coughs> KC colon and then your uh, case site. You can click on the status flag at the top of the document, uh, yellow in this case for um, yellow cap. You can go directly from the negative treatment tab that Emily showed you before. And you can also get the, get the site from the head notes. And so when you're looking at a case, what you're going to look for is this blue link down here. You found your, you found your head note. It's exactly the issues you're interested in. It, the system is great. It will find the other, it will cite, give you the citations to the other cases that refer to this head note. So it can kind of zero in on cases that are, are of interest to you. Go down to the blue link beneath the paragraph and click through, and it'll bring up sites to those cases. Okay, the key site report has a negative treatment tab. Um, and we went through that before, and again, you <coughs> click on the negative treatment, and it will bring you the cases that um, do not support your case that you're particularly interested in, so you need to kind of focus in on those. Citing references are 3,600, 3, so the negative treatment is a good way to kind of cut through and see what your status is as of this moment. Okay, okay. annotating documents online. While you're using Westlaw Next at the, at the Alameda County Law Library, you can highlight the documents. I just wanted to remind you that once your research session ends, so do your annotations. So. Think about if you've done a lot of heavy uh, annotation, make sure you email it to yourself or printed it out because once that clock runs out, so do your annotations. So first thing, you can highlight within a document. To highlight text in a document you are viewing, select the passage, go over it, and click Highlight. So you've highlighted. So as soon as you start moving your cursor over it, the box pops open and you can click highlight. <coughs> the selected text will be highlighted in pale yellow. <coughs> the text will remain highlighted during your particular research session. Excuse me. Uh, another way of annotating your case or any document you pull up is the virtual post-it note. To insert a virtual post-it note next to an important passage in your document, select the passage, and this time click Add a Note. A blank note will appear to the right of the passage. And you can add your text into the post-it note, note and click Save. The note will appear in the document for the remainder of your session. Okay, this is uh, <coughs> moving on to the delivery options, which when combined with the annotations or anything else that we've told you before can be incredibly valuable um, to any of the users of the Alameda County Law Library. So printing the document. So Westlaw Next um, content can be printed here at the library for <coughs> 20, 20 cents a page. To print a document, click on the delivery option icon located circled red there. It's a little, it's a little hard to see um, located at the upper right hand corner of your document you're viewing. If someone prior has been using the computer before you and has done something other than print <coughs> or has emailed, that icon sticks. And so you, you might, it might not be the email, it may be the little printer, it may be a download, but that's where your delivery options can be, um, can be found. 
So you click on that the, the little arrow and it brings up your option, email, print, or download. Click on printing, which is the little computer icon, the little printer icon, and, to, and up pops to print this document. Click print on the bottom, it's blue. And what appears is the Alameda County print box, Law Library Oakland. You can print it, and then you have to click once again, print at the bottom. It's next to the cancel, it's like a two step process. <coughs> the prints appear um, at the printer behind the reference desk, and you check with the, the staff there, and they'll hand give you your prints. Mm -hmm. Okay, to save a document, another delivery option is um, free of charge, and you can do it to a flash drive. Uh, Flash drives can be purchased here at the library for $10 if you don't bring your own. So again, you use the delivery option icon located upper right hand corner. And this time you're going to select download. Arrow, <coughs> arrow icon. Download box appears. And I think Emily mentioned this. It can be um, downloaded in various formats, PDF, Word, Word, uh, Word Perfect. Nobody uses that anymore. Uh, s select your format and click on the download. Open the document. <clears throat> and to get it onto your flash drive, you need to um, click, click File, Save As. And this is now you're working with the library computer and you want to click Save As, and up comes your. your um, options and you're going to look for the USB drive and you click on that <clears throat> you can change the file name to whatever is important to you and then you click save and download it. Mm -hmm. Emailing, wonderful option again uh, uh, found under the delivery icon first one is email really simple you click on that up uh, will pop Email this document, put in your email, do you, whatever they put in the case. Westlaw Next does something for the subject for you. You can email yourself your notes, whatever you need to identify it in your stack of email, and then click email. And off it goes.